Dear students, in front of you there is an energy chart of respiration in which three important steps are glycolysis, Krebs cycle and electron transport chain. So each NADH produces three ATP in electron transport chain. The NADH generated or produced in glycolysis gives two ATP. Now one ATP is spent to transport it across the mitochondrial membrane. Each FADH2 produces 2 ATP. So in this manner, if 2 FADH2 are produced, so they will produce 4 ATP in this case. The total output of ATPs can be calculated from the data which is given in front of you. So during the process of glycolysis in front of you, so this is called the glycolysis. In the process of glycolysis, two ATP are produced and these two ATPs are actually mentioned over here. While during the process of Krebs cycle, before it entering into the Krebs cycle, is acetyl-CoA is formed. And along with Krebs cycle, you can also find two NADH are produced, which in turn produces six ATP. In the similar manner, six NADH are producing 18 NADH and 2 FADH2 are producing 4 ATP.